example 1, x plus 2x minus 3 over x plus 1 multiplied with a bracket 3x plus 2 in partial fractions. Okay, so for us to do uh, to express in partial fractions, you have to identify what is the denominator. So here we have uh, two linear factor there. Okay, linear factor because our x is only x power of 1. Okay. What the first step that you need to do is to rewrite the equation back. Okay, 2x minus 3 over x plus 1 over 3x plus 2. Okay, our next step is for you to separate the denominator, which is the linear factor actually. So we start with x plus 1. Here, put plus over 3x plus 2. And then you put the constant a and next one is b. Okay, so after that, what we need to do is equal the denominator. Okay. How you are going to equal the denominator is actually you have to multiply the both fractions to the opposite uh, linear factor. Okay, so here you will multiply with 3x plus 2 on the bottom and also on the top. And guys, please remember for this one, please put bracket because it is the factor. Okay, uh, you have operation here same as this one because if you don't put the bracket, uh, your calculation may be wrong. Okay, so continue for this part. It will be you multiply by x plus 1 and another one is x plus 1. Okay, let's see how the calculation going. So, uh, the left hand side will be the original equation. So, it must maintain the same. Okay. How about the second one? You have a multiply 3x plus 2 and we have always plus that okay b multiply by x plus 1 okay how about the denominator as you can see here because we want to equal the denominator it share the same denominator so we can just rewrite the two factors multiplied by each other okay so here what you can see here our denominator for both sides is the same okay so next Oh, sorry. Okay, next one. Uh, we will uh, compare uh, equal because our denominator is the same. Okay, you can just uh, when you equal the denominator, you can just equal the numerator. Lah. Okay, so we will take 2x minus 3. A, 3x plus 2 plus B x plus 1 okay as as our denominator is the same right our when our denominator is the same you can just equal the numerator there okay so what is actually you are looking for we are looking for the value of a and b okay uh, so this is what you want okay so next step let's calculate how we can find the value of a and b Okay, class, let's go to this side. I will rewrite back the our equation that we are going to refer. Okay. Okay, here. What you are going to do is we will substitute the value. Okay, we will substitute the value into, into this equation. Okay, the first value that you are going to use uh, is actually you can refer to the factor. Okay, uh, as you can see here, the factor that you have, okay, plus, the factor that you have is this two. Okay, so we will substitute the value from x plus 1. Okay, you have x plus 1. So we will substitute, x plus 1 comes from the factor. Okay, the factor there. So we will substitute the value of x equal to negative 1. Okay, so we will substitute the value inside our equation. It will be uh, 2, negative 1, minus 3, okay, equal to A, 3, negative 1, plus 2. And for this one, actually, when you substitute, uh, you can see that the value will be 0, okay, because it comes from 
you substitute x into negative 1 into factor x plus 1. So when it comes from the same factor, it actually will be 0. Okay, so let's continue to calculate it. You will have a negative 5 on the left hand side, and here you have negative a. So a is equal to 5. Okay. Next one, we will look at another factor that we have, which is 3x plus 2. Okay, for 3x plus 2, if you equal it equal to 0, so it's actually the value of negative 2 over 3. Okay. So let's substitute the value there uh, into our equation Okay, for this box. Okay, we will focus on this one. Uh, so it will be 2, negative 2 over 3. Minus 3 equal to A. As you can see here, it's actually the same factor. Okay, the value come from the factor, so automatically will be 0. Okay, so B, you have negative 2 over 3 plus 1. Okay, so here you will have uh, negative 4 over 3 minus 3. B, negative 2 over 3 plus 1. Okay, let's calculate. You will end up with b equal to negative 13 okay so here you get the value of a and b okay from the factor okay from the factor we can use its value for us to find the value okay so uh, our aims is we already have what we want to look at so what is your final step Alright, uh, so for your last step is to write down back into the uh, original equation. Okay, write down the original equation. You have 2x minus 3, bracket x plus 1, bracket 3x plus 2 is equal to put the, uh, the denominator or linear factor first. You have, okay. Okay, how about A? What is the value of A? Our A is 5. Okay, how about B? B is negative 13. Okay. So as you can see here, for this one, it will not always be positive. It depends on our value. Okay. Okay, let's continue. And let's example 2. X plus 5x over 1 over x plus 1 to x minus 1. 1 minus x in partial fractions. Okay, as I said earlier, you have to identify what is the denominator for each factor. So here is linear factor, linear factor, and linear factor. So it is easy. Okay, and your first step is to re rewrite them in form of partial fractions. The beginning, all right? X plus one to x minus one, one minus x. So let's separate them into two you because you have three sorry into three because you have three factors there i'm sorry so here is 2x minus one one minus x just plus plus everything and how about the constant uh, we start with a b and c okay so next step will be multiply all right uh, you equal the denominator okay to equal the denominator, we will multiply to uh, to the factors that you don't uh, the different factors for each part. Okay, so I don't have space there, so uh, let me copy back. Okay, x plus one, two x minus one, one minus x. Okay, how about a? For a, what do you didn't have? You don't. Uh, you will multiply it by two x minus one, one minus x, top and bottom. All right. So next one plus b over two x minus one. Okay. Please remember always to put the bracket because it will make effect your uh, writing your calculation. So here for b you will multiply by x plus one and one minus x. Okay. So here is the same. And last one is C over 1 minus X. Put the bracket please. So here we will have, we have to multiply by X plus 1 to X minus 1. And same to the bottom, X plus 1 to X minus 1. Okay, the wrong color now. Oops, sorry. Okay, we just send it back. 
here is x plus 1 to x minus 1. Okay, as you can see here, uh, it's quite long actually. Okay, but uh, it is not that difficult. So what we can do here, just copy back the equation. You will have 5x plus 1. Okay, let's just uh, directly compare the numerator because your your denominator is always, uh, it will be the same. Okay, because we equal it. We multiply, so let's just rewrite the the one, the denominator. Okay, our main equation that we will be using for us to find a, b, and c. Okay, plus b, x plus one, one minus x plus c, x plus one, two x minus one. Okay, guys, let's check. Uh, here you have two x minus one. You have 1 minus x, okay? Am I right? B, you will have x plus 1, 1 minus x, yes. How about C, you will have 2x, uh, x plus 1 plus and 2x minus 1. So, here is our equation, okay? That we will focus on calculating our uh, value. So, again, our aim is for us to find A, B and C. Okay, so we will start find the first value. Okay, how to find A, B, and C? We will use a factor, okay, substitute value. Okay, let's use our first factor. What do we have? Your first factor is x plus 1. Okay, for this one, let's use, uh, sorry, hmm. let's use uh, this factor. This come from this factor actually. Okay, so our first factor is x plus 1. So, we will substitute x equal to negative 1. Okay, so let's substitute on the left-hand side. You have 5, negative 1 plus 1 equal to, focus on this table. Alright, on sorry, on this, yes, table uh, box here. Okay, focus on this box. You will have, okay, before you want to substitute the value at A, can, can you check whether it has, the same factor or not as x plus 1. Does it have? No. Okay, so you just substitute the value. Alright, a 2 negative 1 minus 1 bracket 1 minus negative 1. Okay, how about b? Do you have? Yes, you have the same factors there. So, when you have the same factor, automatically it will be 0. Okay, no need for you to multiply it. Alright, C. How about C? Do you have the same factor that x plus 1? Yes, you have. So, it will have the value 0. So, uh, make us easier because we don't need to uh, substitute or calculate for that part because it has multiplied 0. Okay, how about the left hand side? What do we have? We have negative 4. A, you have here negative 3 multiplied with 2. Right? So, negative 4 there is negative 6a. a is equal to 2 over 3. Okay. So, you get one value of a. Uh, factor x plus 1. So, we will substitute the value x equal to negative 1. And you get the value of a equal to 2 over 3. Okay. Next, we will use another uh, our second factor to x minus 1. So, we will substitute the value x equal to 1 over 2. Alright, so like you equal the factor equal to 0 and you get this value. And you substitute the value by the left hand side and on the right hand side. Okay, let's focus on this one. Why it be 0 there? Okay, uh, it be 0 because you can see at uh, the first the first term here, you have the factor to x minus 1 as you can see here. Okay, because the value, it comes from this factor. So, automatic when you substitute the value its value you will get zero so no need for you to calculate and let's look at b do you have the factor to x minus one so let's look at the equation inside the box so do you have to x minus one no okay so you have to substitute the value manually all right and then c you have the factor to x minus one there so that's why it will be zero okay that's how you're going to do no need for you to waste your time to substitute here here and here okay because we know that it comes from each factor and the value will be 0 and finally you calculate with that b equal to 14 over 3 all right 
So next class, let's focus on our last factor, which is 1 minus x. So 1 minus x, you will substitute the value x equal to 1. Okay, so we substitute to the left-hand side. It's okay, but for the right-hand side, let's look at where uh, our value will be 0. So it is 1 minus x. Let's look at part A. Do you have 1 minus x? Yes. So everything here will be 0. Okay, how about B? You have 1 minus x there, so it will be 0. And C, you have to uh, substitute the value manually, and at the end, you get the value C equal to 3. Okay, class, so is it the end of your calculation? No, we need to uh, go to our fourth step, okay, write back our equation, our original equation, 5x plus 1 over x plus 1, 2x minus 1, 1 minus x. Alright, so let's uh, write down the linear factor first, the denominator. The linear factor is here, x plus 1, 2 x minus 1, 1 minus x. Please uh, follow the arrangement. And next, we put the value of our a, b, c. So uh, what is our value a? a is 2 over 3. Okay, 2 over 3. Okay, for 3 here, we put bracket. Okay, 3 multiplied by linear factor. Uh, and then you have B. What is your value of B? It is positive because you don't have a negative there. Alright, it is positive. 14 over 3. Okay, so here put the bracket. Must put the bracket. Okay, and our C is only 3. Positive 3. Okay, so that's how you answer your questions. And right? write down your solution properly. Okay, so it is easy, right? it has uh, if it has three linear factors so you will have a b and c okay and if you have denominator just put them on the denominator but please remember to put the bracket here okay yeah.